Think I'm gonna stop singing that song? Your grandkids will be singing Strange Fruit. What's with really the good guys? It's your boy Spider Minutes. I'm here with my sister Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? And welcome to Kaiju Cinematic Destruction, our movie review show for the channel. We got another one for you. It's gonna be the United States versus Billie Holiday. Just came out this past Friday. But before we get started, you know what you gotta do. Go ahead, subscribe to us, hit the little bell icon so you get notifications for every video that we do. Like any of the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful. So how about we just jump right into this, okay? Yeah. So the United States, United States, the United States versus Billie Holiday. Yes. Uh, follows our titular character, Billie Holiday, portrayed by Andre Day, uh, through her career and her fight against the United States government and the FBI as they try to silence her and keep her from singing the song Strange Fruit and potentially sparking the civil rights movement. Yes. It also features one Jimmy Fletcher, played by Travante Rhodes, who is an FBI agent, a black FBI agent, in fact, mm -hmm. and he uh, has has infiltrated her inner circle, got her arrested for that first time, and, you know, fell into a relationship with her later on in life and followed her until her passing. Now, this movie right here, we were incredibly excited for. We did the trailer drop for that. I got that up in the cards. Don't yeah. worry, I'm not forgetting. Yeah. Uh, we did the trailer drop for that. We're really ecstatic, uh, ecstatic for this because, you know, there's not enough Billie Holiday and apparently, and, you know, not apparently, but I loved the potential for Andre Day to portray her and sing her songs. Yeah. What did you think about Andre Day's portrayal? Oh, gosh. She, she had her, like, down to the T. Down to the T. Her talking, her mannerism, her singing, that... That little gravelly inflection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That unique voice that Billie Holiday had, she captured all of that. Yes. That so, initially, when you walk into the movie, you're already immersed I mean, with that. We say walk into the movie when like you're going to be walking into the room yeah. that's playing on Hulu because you're not watching us in theaters. Okay. Are you Sorry. done? Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> yes. So you're all so once she start talking and singing you're already captiv captivated. Yes. This, this because it's like the spot part this movie. on. Like for a minute there I forgot I, I thought that was actually Billy Holiday. Yeah. This was definitely one of the better parts about this movie. Yes. Definitely one of the better parts about yes. this movie. Yes. If you want to be honest, everybody played their part. Oh, yes. They casted Indeed. this very well. They they did a really good job with casting. They did a really good job of their portrayals of these characters that were involved in Billie Holiday's life and what roles they played and how important they were to her. They did very good on all of that. Yes. Now, this is definitely not a non-fiction movie because Jimmy Fletcher is a fictional character, but Travante Rose did do an amazing job he of did. portraying him. We'll get to that soon. We'll definitely get to that soon. Yeah. Uh, but yes, as, as we said, this was about her uh, life as she was fighting against the United States government and the FBI, trying to do whatever they could to silence her. Now, that's the true cancel culture right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they tried to yeah. silence her, keep her from saying the song that would spark and ignite uh, the potential civil rights movement. Yeah. Uh, now, this movie, as much as I did enjoy it for what it was, this movie is unfocused and it's also incredibly weak. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree. It's, it's, it's unfocused, it's weak. It misses a lot of key points. It, that the, they, it could have really hit they, a lot. It could, something. yeah. And I kind of wish they did, and they didn't. And it was like every, and, and they would get there. That was the frustrating part because they would get there, and as soon as they get there, they would pull you back and be like, "Oh no, we can't tell that. We can't tell that. We can't tell that." <laughs> oh yes, like for instance, yeah. her her uh, her interaction and her affair with uh, what was her name, Tallulah Bankhead. Yes, yes. Tallulah Bankhead. No, and, like, and I've never heard of Tallulah Bankhead really. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. So I was like, okay, what was her involvement with Tallulah Bankhead? Just nothing. And, and, and that, it, yeah. it was like, instead they of just, like letting you sit with these particular scenes yeah. and seeing the full uh, full spectrum of who she was as a person and as a character, uh, I say character because again, this is not a completely non-fictionalized, yeah. uh, you know, 
portrayal of her, but seeing her as a character on the screen, we don't get to see all of her because we only get to see bits and pieces uh, out of pocket. Like, yeah. for instance, as we said with Tabula Bankhead, there's like for an hour, there's only one scene with her, but they try yeah. to portray it as a very important, you know, keynote part of her life yeah. where she's trying to, you know, ride an elevator uh, in this hotel and uh, with, with Billie Holiday. And yeah. that's the only part that you get yeah, with her it, it, for it, like an hour. Yeah, it is. And not only that, they basically told the story that Tolulu Bankhead was Tulu. accosted by the FBI to like, hey, kind of infiltrate plant do such and such and such and such and in real life they were best friends yeah and and that wasn't the thing yeah like it's yeah. it's it's really it's really maddening to me because yeah. you really could have hit on a lot of parts a so lot so of what parts. As, as we said when i said it was unfocused that's what i mean they they really hammered in the good parts as i said uh we were we were focused on billy holiday's crew backstage uh there was a lot more comedy a lot more uh jovial uh atmosphere with them yeah they and definitely I like that, didn't and I take themselves that. yeah they definitely didn't take themselves seriously they all. actually you could tell they had fun making this movie they, they definitely did yeah. and then you had andre day singing in her portrayal that was great yes. i loved it and i even loved the fictional character of i just said his name jimmy uh, fletcher jimmy fletcher yeah. Yeah. I love the fictional character of Jimmy Fletcher and his and, and there's the storms coming up behind yeah. Sorry about that. Uh and um and his portrayal within the FBI and I wish they touched on that a lot more. I do. And and okay, that's where I was trying to get to because I kind of wish it was um, an actual character. Yeah, I'm about to get into that real oh. quick. We, Sorry. We're, we're about to get into that. Sorry. But like those are the good parts yes. about this film. Yeah. But like everything in between leading between you know, her singing and her portrayals in the, in the cabaret, uh, the backstage portions, yeah. uh, Jimmy Fletcher's characterization, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, all of that was good, but like the, the roadmap leading there was just like driving to Chicago yeah. from Memphis. Yeah. It's the most boring road that you could ever be on. Well, because it gets it's just boring. straight up flat. Yeah, it's like these, as soon as you hit interesting parts. Yeah, if you ever travel from Memphis to to, to Illinois, so it's like as soon as you hit Illinois and uh, what is it, Cairo? Oh my God, it's, it's the just worst dead. Freaking not only experience. that, not only that, you have to drive a certain speed because in Cairo they're dicks. It kinda, <laughs> the movie kind of paralleled that in many scenes that you are referencing. Yeah, yeah. it did. It was just kind of like. Uh, it's like, oh, I love this. I love this. Let's yeah. stay right here. It's yeah. like, no, we got to travel. It's yeah. like, uh, no, then we got we to gotta drop our speed because, you know, dickheads are watching us. It's like, uh, ah, God damn it, just go there. Now, it didn't. Now, what we were talking about earlier when we said about Jimmy Fletcher, there's yeah. two parts. Uh, there's actually three parts uh, with this one. One, I do wish he was a completely real character because I do too. it would be very interesting to actually see the portrayal of the black people in the FBI and how they had yes. to had to dance between like, hey, I'm trying to be, and they actually made this line uh, uh, when she got arrested the first time. It's like, yeah. why aren't you a a you know a boon for your race instead of yeah. being a trouble it's like trying to balance between like hey trying to live and be free versus trying to just get a paycheck and you know carve out your own life yeah. that's you know i would have loved for them to actually you know dig into that and maybe some someday someone will you know decide to portray yeah. that that's one uh two uh we also had that with just secondary characters who were on the screen for like just a few minutes and yeah. I kind of wish it did touch on the actual relationship between Billie Holiday and the black community at the yeah. time because with some people they were like yo she is definitely sparking us and getting us reminding us like you know how to fight and yeah. when to fight and then there were others who were just like yo I just I just need to keep a job I, I don't care yeah. about this fight don't cause a fuss I wish that they really touched more on that as well and then you know finally just I think that was it <laughs> I said three, but yeah. maybe it was just two. Yeah, um, definitely the movie did touch on everything you were asking. I do want to go back to the song that sparked it all and why she was being targeted by the FBI, uh, which yeah. was Strange Fruit. Yeah, they did sing yes. it this one time, and it was they the did. best portrayal, yeah. and I loved it. I fell in love I, with this, but it was like in was, the middle yeah. of the film, and it's a two-hour film. Yeah. So it's like, okay, we got to this big high note, yeah. and it's just all downhill from here. Yeah, which but gave continue. me the chance. That's okay. 
Cause, cause you're right. It did, and it actually when those downhills came, that gave me a chance to actually look up Strange Fruit and kind of understand the meaning behind it because I didn't. I'll, uh, because they basically don't, they still don't really want you to know about Strange Fruit. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, they, it's not yeah, like they do. It. Like they yeah. recently, um, they recently put up the lyrics to where you can find them, but they're the lyrics are made into poems, and they're in a well, book. I mean, it, it, it's yeah. Cause, cause I mean, even yeah, cause I research strange fruit is a little difficult trying to find the lyrics. Cause I'm like, okay, strange fruit. I really want to know more about strange fruit because it was about African Americans who were being lynched in the South, and you know that was progressively bad. Well, progressively bad. Well, <laughs> just straight yeah, up bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add up all bad. of that extra word. Just yeah, straight up bad. It was but like, yes. but like, you know, news back then didn't travel the way because like yeah, news right now will travel at light speed if something happens yes. something happens down here where we live somebody in germany can figure it out yeah but like back then it was like there was a, a string of lynchings that was happening yeah. down in the south they weren't relaying that information up north no. and a lot of people didn't know about that and it's one of those situations where it's like singing the song shocked the public consciousness yeah especially when it came down to black it, people. it brought awareness and yeah. that's what the fbi didn't want oh yeah no they didn't want that awareness that these lynchings were going on and because they were just horrible and she did experience them because of course it was in her time period for her to experience them yeah. so of course to her it hit home yeah which is why she took this song on and which is why she would sing it because even and i wish they would have done this in the movie even listening or researching as to how she came about this song like she would have all of the black workers stop working cut out all the lights, let it be completely dark. And as soon as she sung the first part of the lyrics, it would just, light would just illuminate completely on her face. Like this, that's it. Okay. They they didn't even do that in the movie and I kind of wish they did, which would have brought yeah, they, they, more they gravity. Yeah. They didn't actually show her no, they telling didn't. them to do that. Yeah. They, did, they just kind of did it. Yeah. Cause, and I, cause I, that's, that is how profound Profoundly important it was. To important her. it was to her that she wanted to get this message out here, and she wanted everybody to feel that. Cause, cause even just reading that, and and you know, just like imagining, like, okay, in the light, it's just holy shit. <laughs> it's like you're being now you get to experience the lynching. Yeah, but that's what she wanted you to feel. She wanted you to feel that, but like I do wish that they did talk about how the yeah. song came about. Uh, Cause they just made a little reference. It was like, they oh, no, this yeah. commie, this commie wrote it. And it's yeah. like, no, like, no, it give, actually give was more information. Yes, on that. it actually was uh, written by a Jewish. Yeah, it was Jewish. It was a, a Jewish. Was he a author or no, he was a composer? Uh, he was a composer. composer. Yeah. Okay, but it, it really came from a photograph that he saw. Yeah. Um, back in the 1930s, because I think the song came out in 39. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, okay, see, yeah, that's that's what I did during the movie. Which is, <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here telling you what I researched and not what I saw in the movie, which I should be telling you this I saw in the movie and I didn't. But the only thing that I really did write, uh, like, uh, like the small thing that I wanted to take yeah. away, because we just we just did a review for uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. Yes. They did not they treat did, the yes. FBI as the good guys, or not not the good guys, not, not the, the good guys. What, the, he, what 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 Judas and the Black Messiah did was they treated them like some sort of neutral entity, and it yes. was just a few bad actors within it that wanted to you know bring down uh, sort of uh, these these black movements. But really, it was like this one. It was just like nah. Fuck the feds. Yeah. And I love that. It's like, yes. yeah, fuck the feds in this yeah, one. Yeah, I, I like that. They didn't explain why they, I mean, they didn't like try to excuse or make an excuse as to why they were targeting her. Yeah. Versus Judas and the Black Messiah. They were, were just like, trying oh. to make a reason or excuse. Like, I, of, I'm going after yeah. uh, the, the white nationalists yeah. just as much as the black nationalists. Yeah, and no. I am the neutral guys. I'm no, fuck you. Yeah. But, and, but yeah, she yeah. mainly was targeted for this song. But then again, she was a heavy drug user. But they what basically, so they really couldn't get her. <laughs> I know. Uh, they, they really couldn't get her, couldn't on, the get her song, on the song, but... so they only could get her on her drug possession and drug use. Okay, but basically, yeah, we we, we got yeah. right there. But let's 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 just jump right into what what you give. Yeah. It. Okay, this is kind of tough for me because I really really wanted to like this movie. Um, I'm really grappling between a two and a three. Um, I'm grappling with the two because of the story that they were telling. And they didn't take it far enough for me. Okay. And I wanted to go further because Billie Holiday is such an iconic character. 
She is such an iconic character. Like she was amazing. Why won't you just let us know that? Let us know the bad. We know it wasn't all good. Yeah, yeah we know she eats the fucked up stuff. Who does it? Yeah. It's life. <laughs> I mean, and then again, it was back during the civil rights time. Hell, I probably would have been fucked up. I don't. I mean, yeah. I, I don't even think I could live during Martin Luther King time and all of that, like our parents did. Like I think I would just be like, no, I'm not dealing with this shit. I'm just frick you guys, whatever. But yeah, like we get it. Okay. Um, but what makes it a three for me is the actors. Yeah. You know, especially Andre Day. Like, she took on this role. She killed it. Okay. So that that's where I'm at. Not sure. Pretty sure that was confusing. Okay, okay. so so go under your head. Two or three. I, I'll give it a three. Okay. I'll go ahead and take it to a three. What the fuck you with the <laughs> damn... Why? I mean, just make the decision. Why do you have to say that? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm I'm with you on that. I, yes. I, I I was caught between the two and three with this because it, as I said, it is it is a weak film. It is not impactful the way that it could have been and it should have been the way that it purported itself to be. I was super excited for this and I did get a lot out of this. As I said, yeah. you know, Andre Day's portrayal was absolutely great. Uh, the other characters were impre- incredible in this. Uh, who played Roz again? Divine. Uh, Divine or uh, hold on. Yeah, her friend Roz like was a, a nice change of pace because we got yeah. we did get some laughter in this, and you know you can't have these kind of movies and just yeah. be a hundred percent dour because after a while, Divine like, Joy Randolph, Divine Joy Randolph, yeah, she yeah. I, I loved her. In this oh film. God, she was I she loved was the her best. In this film. Uh, but you got to have some <laughs> laughter in there, or yeah. else you just you're you just following the same monotone. Yeah, struggle, 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 and you know this like they played off each other perfectly, and I loved yeah. that about it. Uh, it was the actors that brought it up to a three. The story in and of itself was just like your usual made for TV movie portrayal yeah. about Billie Holiday, and it could have been so much more impactful to me. Yeah. But I, I, I'm I'm good with giving it a three. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let us know what you thought about the, the movie down in the comments below, United States versus Billie Holiday, because again, we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful, because yeah, I know the, it's storming it's, bad it's storming behind hard, us. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Also, head on over to patreon.com slash yo Kaiju. We get updates on the site, the store, and the channel. Uh, you can also uh, help support us, make sure that we continue to make these movies, uh, movies, videos for you, uh, become a patron. You can also get merch codes. And where can they use those merch codes? Dude? Head on over to hillkaiju.com slash shop where you can get merch. Fabulous merch. merch. Show the words. There you go. Oh, Jesus Christ. There you go. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hopefully it, the weather is a little bit better for you than it is for us right now. We'll yeah. catch you on the next Kaiju Cinematic Destruction. Deuces. Bye.